Are you looking to get articles written, perhaps even ebooks or articles rewritten? Well, look no further. There's a service called iWriter. And in this video, I want to share my review of iWriter, my experience with it, having used it for a number of years, and share a step by step tutorial on how to go about ordering your first article or ebook. Hey, my name is Aurel S. Chen, and if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos around online business. All right, so before we continue, what is iWriter? You know, there are other services and freelancers you could hire at Upwork and Fiverr, but what makes iWriter different to the rest? Well, the biggest reason why you would want to use iWriter as opposed to going to some freelance site is because they already have kind of like a pool of writers, writers who will go and write any content that you want to put out on the web. So think of it as your own team of writers who are ready to write content for you. So to demonstrate and give you a clearer picture as to how iWriter works, it's best if I switch over to my screen and share with you the process and the steps on how you can go about getting your content created. All right, so we're over on our screen now. And as mentioned before, the difference or the biggest difference I see between iWriter and sites like Upwork.com and Fiverr.com is that you don't need to go out and find writers yourself. You know, you have a pool of writers who are ready to write your content. So all you need to worry about is really writing the brief, which I'll share with you in this video and also reviewing it, making notes and getting the writer to rewrite if anything. So what I like to explain first, because this is also a review of iWriter, is the pricing. Now, how does it compare to someone you would hire as a freelance writer or ghostwriter? You know, let's take a look at this table at the time of this recording, All right? So we're looking at articles here, standard, premium, elite, elite plus. These are the levels of, I guess, expertise of a writer and the status that they uh, might have. For instance, if you're looking at a standard article of let's say 500 articles, which is a typical uh, length of a artic uh, article or blog post, you're looking at $3.30 for that. Now, if we go a step higher, that's $6. And then the elite level, $11. And then we've got the elite plus at $30. $9. Now, is there a big difference between each of these levels? I would say that there's not so much a massive, massive difference, but if you're comparing between a standard and something like the elite level, then yes, there is a difference. Uh, but uh, I'll go into more detail as to what type of quality you're going to end up um, having by selecting kind of a premium level versus elite. And I'll show you uh, some of my own examples that uh, you know I had also ordered in the past. Now let's look at the article rewrites. They've completely dismissed just the standard option because I think there is a minimum spend for rewrites. You've got $6 for rewrite, uh, premium level, then $11 and $39. So in comparison to articles, you're looking about the same price for rewrites. There's actually no difference. So there is a minimum of using the premium service for ebooks, we're looking at, let's say, a 7,000 word ebook, which is, I'd say, about 15 pages or so. You're looking at $230. For Elite Plus level, you're looking at $760. Big difference there. And that's what I want to go through in this video with you. Is there a massive difference between Elite and Elite Plus? And you'll see in one of my examples later on. All right, so going back to the iWriter dashboard, this is my own dashboard where you can see uh, what's happening. So you can see I've requested 588 articles in the past. There's one that's not completed. I actually started one the other day so that I can show you uh, some uh, an example of an article that was just written. And for this, I chose an elite level and we'll go through the content as we go along this video. The content creation process that they illustrate here pretty much demonstrates the process of how iWriter works. So first you request your article by ordering the content. I'll go through that. And then the ones that show not completed, this essentially means uh, the number of articles that aren't completed yet. Now, when an article does get assigned to a writer or a writer does choose to write that particular article, it will show here. So being written, then once they have completed that article, they uh, end up here 
in the pending approval. So this is where you go in and approve and review any articles that need approval. And once it's completed, it goes into the completed section. So at this point, let's go ahead and go through ordering content. So let's see how easy it is to order content and the process and how specific you need to be in terms of getting content written. Now, the first thing you might notice is this section here where it says, please ensure that you have sufficient funds before entering your order inputs. What they're meaning is that you need to add some funds um, right here. So we can add it right here by adding what we want, choosing a custom amount, but at the moment there's a minimum of $10. So you fund your account first before you actually order. You can do it the other way around where you order and then add funds, but uh, I would stay safe, but they do save your settings, but I would go ahead and add funds to, to your account first. Now each of the sections as you go along, we see project title, then a little question mark here. This will give you more of a description as to what this section should be about and what you should put in this particular field. So your project title is simply for your own reference. So then if you do refer back to any content or projects that you've started in the past, you can go ahead and refer to that. So make it descriptive, make it helpful so that you can easily identify what that project is or was about. Now, do you want to load it from a template? If you're just starting out, then you probably don't have any templates, uh, but this is also handy if you have some previous sort of orders that you have done in the past and you don't want to fill in everything for, again from the start. But in this case, let's choose no, but what would you like? Now, do you want to choose an article? Do you want to get content rewritten? Do you want an ebook or Kindle? Let's choose an article for this demonstration. Now category, what category is your industry and is it business, internet, business, finance, insurance? Now, why is this important? It's because writers will then see what category that might be. And if they are perhaps an expert in that field, then they'll take on that job. And this will allow writers to basically uh, filter, you know, or filter what they could write and what they should uh, completely avoid. Perhaps they have no clue on the subject of relationships, so they would completely avoid that. So you choose the one that's most, I guess, close to your subject. So let's say internet and business online and choose a language. Now, are you targeting the US? Are you targeting uh, the UK or countries that do speak, uh, you know, English, uh, British English, choose accordingly. There's also Spanish, French, German, um, other. I'm not sure what that is, but in most cases, it's, it should be either US or UK. This is important because when they write, they're going to be write, writing in that language, whether it's US or UK English. And so the spelling might be different. Next thing is how many articles would you like? Do you want, uh, one article, do you want two articles? And so you add another article if you do want multiple articles for that singular project. So you could have 10 articles for that same project. So let's say you want um, self-help articles. All right, so I'm gonna say 10 self-help articles there and I'm gonna add another article and add as many as you want. So in this case, there's 10. All right, so you get the idea. Now, you enter a keyword here, and this is the section that you fill in if you want to optimize or if you want the writer to optimize for a particular keyword, especially if you're optimizing for search engines. So let's say you're targeting um, self-love or self-help, whatever that may be, you're targeting that keyword or phrase or long tail keyword. You know, I'm not going to explain too much on subject of keywords, but uh, you get the idea there. Now, if you're not optimizing for search engines, that's okay. You can just fill in the main sort of uh, keyword or phrase and just enter it there and just note down in the description that you're not optimizing for search engines. Otherwise, they might kind of stuff your article with the, uh, the keywords, which you don't want just to attract search engines. And sometimes you don't want that depending on what type of article you want. All right, so moving on to the next section, we've also got word count. Now, how many words do you want per article? All right, so we're not saying in total for the whole project, we're saying word count for each article. So we're saying 500 words 
per article. So in this case, it's 10 articles. That is 5,000 words in total. So if we hover over the question mark again, this will give us more information. Just use that as a, as a guide if you don't know what each section is about and what you, don't, uh, what you need to fill in. Now, writer level. We hover over this, so select the skill of writer. The higher the skill, the better content you will receive. Now, I've experienced that this isn't the case. Now, usually it's you get what you pay for. So the more you pay, the better the quality. But I'll show you an example later on, the difference between elite and I guess elite plus or premium versus elite. Which level should you choose? Now, standard, I would completely just avoid altogether because I would say it's completely useless to even put on your blog or, you know, whatever it is. These days it's about quality content and you don't want to be putting out uh, mediocre uh, content out there no matter what niche or what your purpose is. So completely avoid that. Even though it's $3.30, you know, do you really want to uh, sacrifice quality over quantity? It's not what you want to do. For the most part, most of you will choose either premium at the very minimum, all right, at the very minimum, use the premium level uh, service and that starts at $6. Now, this is where you can go and enter a custom amount. Now, of course, the higher you kind of bid or enter in, then the higher quality writers that you'll attract because, of course, the writers that do get a lot of jobs and the writers who are um, very good at what they do will see that you're willing to offer more for the price that is uh, of normal. You know, minimum price is $6. Most people would put the minimum. But if they see that you're off willing to offer $20 instead, then that might attract them more to actually write for for you for that particular article ebook. So that's where you go and enter your custom amount. But for the most part, if you're going to choose uh, premium, then go with that. Uh, elite, you know, the minimum is 11. Uh, elite plus. With elite and premium, you're going to get a bit more of better quality. It's going to give you the overall total cost of your project because we've only got five articles here. So um, five articles and we've got um, 500 words here. And at elite level, you've got $11 times it by five. You've got the $55 there. All right, so brief project instructions. This is where you can add those extra notes and details and resources that you might want the writer to research and base the, the article on. So if we hover over here, it's gonna give us more information. So enter what your article will be used for. And that's also a good starting point as well. The brief is really important. The more detailed you are, the better. So if you can explain to them what is the purpose of this article? Are you going to post it on your blog? Are you going to post it on social media? Are you going to break it up? Are you going to send it out to your email list? So depending on what uh, purpose it is, they'll at least they can get into get into the right mind frame and know what they are writing or where they're going to write it for. So add anything else that you want the writer to know so that they can give you a better result. The next step is the creative brief. Now, if we hover over this, give you more information, select one of the creative briefs and it will open more options for your project. You can provide them even more information like the company information about your company, your business, what you do, so then they can get a better feel for what they're dealing with and the type of audience, the target audience. Who are they writing for? Are they more professional? Are they more uh, casual? Are they just everyday people? These are the types of details you can add and should add actually to give you a better quality article. Now, objective, what's the objective? To inform and educate, to motivate uh, and purchase, engage and entertain. This is where you add it. Let's take a look at uh, things to mention. Uh, list everything that you expect the writer to mention in their content piece. So this is a great place to add important information that you want them to add and elaborate on. Now, tone of writing, this is also important so that they know what voice to kind of write it in, whether it's everyday, business, extremely informal and casual, journalistic, business, copywriting or other. Mention it all right here. The next step is submitting to a specific writer. So do you have any writers in mind or have you had experience using any other writers that you found to be good then this is where you put it in but if you're just starting out you won't have any so start typing iWriter's name or add one from your favorites if you go back to your iWriter dashboard you can actually see the most prolific writers and also highest rated 
iWriters. And if you go into each profile, so let's say this person here, it will give you more information of uh, how many articles they've written in the past, how many they've uh, written in uh, per month, uh, the repeat. So in here, we've got 35.2% uh, completed orders, revisions that they've done, uh, last logged in, and where they're actually from. Perhaps you want to avoid uh, certain countries. So that's where you go in, take a look at their profile and see where they're actually from. And so if you need, if you strictly need someone from the US, then you need to go and look for someone who's located in the US. You can also see writer reviews, um, experience. Sometimes they fill it in, sometimes they don't. I found that most of them don't fill in this section, uh, which is a pity. Uh, samples. This is also a section that many of them don't fill. This is where you go in and actually check out um, some of their samples. And if you like what they uh, have, then you can hire them. Uh, client reviews. So it also shows what level they're at. They're an elite writer, iWriter. If you like them, you can also add to favorite. You can also add to block list. So then they can't actually see your project and actually uh, take on that project. So feel free to go through each person's profile if you do kind of want to just rely on someone who has great rating and someone who's reliable and based on the feedback. You can see this writer in particular has a repeat client's uh, rating of 100%. So it seems like the same clients use her service, but she doesn't seem like she's uh, offering her writing services that often. But if you do have a question for a particular writer, you can go ahead and send a message to them to see if they can fulfill your order. Let's go back to the content order page now. So this is where, again, where you can enter the iWriter's name. So let's say Andra. We can then type it in there, Andra, and see what comes up. So it's searching, and there we go. So we've got that, and now it's gonna be assigned to this particular writer, and we can place the order. But if you don't want to specify a writer, then click no, and now you're ready to place the order. Now, once you've submitted your order, there's nothing more to do. You just wait, and it will show as not completed. And when someone does get assigned to that particular project, then it will show being written and you just wait. Now, depending on how many words you ordered per article or ebook, that determines the length of time. But for a typical 500 word article, I would say anywhere between three to six hours. And that's where you can go to the pending approval section and approve any content. So let's actually do that now and go inside uh, my existing project. So the project I worked on is around self-love and that's the subject we can see that the status is open and pending my approval. And the level that I ordered was an elite level. And the user that was assigned to this is here. The action is to review the content. Now you are given a time frame to review the content. So if you don't uh, review it by that time, then it'll automatically approve and you don't want that. So you wanna take advantage of the time that you can review it so that you can make any uh, tweaks and edits or get the writer to make those changes. So it's unlimited revisions, but if you do, I would say if you do reject any articles, then you can see that it affects your approval rate. So you as the client, the approval rate will go down uh, the more articles that you, you reject. So you can see out of the 587 uh, approved, or not out of it, but we can see that I've approved 587 articles and rejected 118. So that my approval rate is 83.26. So just as a side note, uh, if you do end up rejecting it, so there's actually a button called reject and we can also request a rewrite. But if you're happy with everything that's in there, then you can click on approve and then you can download the content. So going back here, we can see the project details in full, the costs that I'm paying, uh, the article title, and it was written by this writer and the writer, writer's status is actually an elite plus. So this goes to show that even if you do order at an elite level, uh, some elite plus writers will go and write your content because there may not be enough projects that are elite plus. And if there are, perhaps all those writers will take it, take it on real quick. 
Um, since Elite Plus for a 500 article was uh, $39, so quite expensive. But let's go and review the content that was uh, that's currently pending. So reading this, we I'm going to read out loud. You have to learn how to love yourself, quote unquote. Uh, how many times have we heard this phrase saying it is ease, east? So already right off the bat, there is a spelling mistake right there, which should be the word easy. But doing it on the other hand can be near impossible, especially if we aren't in the right frame of mind. Now, it's not too bad. Looking at the other sections, I like how it's sectioned off. And there's, uh, you know, there's six tips, six different tips here. Number one, self-kindness. Two, don't forget you're only human. Three, be mindful with yourself. Because we have spotted a mistake here where it says East, I would go and request a rewrite. And uh, it says, please state your reason for requesting a rewrite of this content. Um, this will help the writer know what, what they've done wrong and correct the problem. Then the writer will have uh, two days to complete the request. So in this case, I would say, please uh, proof read the content again as I spotted a few um, spelling and grammatical mistakes, such as the word east, which should have been easy. That's the type of feedback I would give. Uh, I haven't fully read it. But in this case, I'm just going to request a rewrite and I can always request uh, further rewrites if need be. All right. So now it's gone into this section uh, being written and I just wait until the writer does go through the content again and fix any errors. Now, what I want to show you now is the difference between the quality of kind of not each level, but if we go to completed work, Let's go into a couple of these here, which we have. We've got social media articles, which is one of the projects at premium level. And we've got one at elite level. Uh, these are two different types of orders. So one's for articles and one's for an ebook of 4,000 words. What I'm going to do is select these two uh, projects here so you can see the difference. And we're going to kind of go through the content and uh, see is there a major difference between premium and elite and whether you should just simply set your project as premium versus elite. I'm going to download the files as docs. All right, so here are the files. We've got 10 articles and one longer form, I would say an ebook, a short ebook uh, called 100 Social Media Marketing Tips. All right, so here's the ebook. I'll expand this a bit more. We've got here kind of like an intro. You would have to have been living under a rock not to have heard about the new media or social media and how many businesses are using this platform to market their products and services online. Here are a hundred of the most important concepts to grasp to make sure this platform works for you and your business. Now we can see a question mark. I'm not sure what that question mark's for, but it should have been a period. Then the tips go on. So we've got connection, the social networks are built around this concept. It is very important. You get this first for success. You begin by connecting with your friends, family, and people in your target market. Then you connect with their friends and family. So it's not too bad. Like the right, the content, the writing flows and quite straight to the point. Now let's take a look at some of the articles. We've got five traits of top social media influencers. So let's start by just reading this first paragraph. Uh, unlike before, when social media marketing success meant the number of followers or fans amassed, today's marketers know that influencers are imperative to a brand success online. A smart marketer who knows the power of influencer marketing is invest investing considerable time to finding in finding brand advocates such as ourselves, engaging with them and establishing a strong brand influencer relationship. So that's not too bad. You can see that it's quite straight to the point too. In comparison, you know, if we look at the premium and elite, there's not much of a difference. Of course, this all depends on the writer that actually took on the projects. So uh, perhaps you got a writer that wasn't good at all. But we can see because the way iWriter works is if you have a project of 10 articles, let's say, it assigns each one out to the marketplace and then anyone can take, take it on. There's different writers and that's one thing to note of. If you want the same writer, then I would highly advise to save and favorite that writer 
and then use that person only so that the content is consistent all throughout. But in this case, we've got all these different writers uh, writing the content. In actual fact, if we look at each content, it'll be different. So what's the verdict of iWrite and what's my opinion and recommendation to you? Well, first and foremost, what I would say is iWriter is not perfect. So I mean, the content that you get, as you saw, even though I paid for an elite level, which I actually got an elite plus iWriter to write my content, it's not perfect. You saw that there was a typo and grammatical mistakes. So there will be uh, times when you post a project and there will be mistakes. So it will never be perfect. You might need uh, rewrites and going, lot, going you know, back and forth with your iWriter. But what I would say is that if you need content done fast and reliably, then iWriter does provide that type of platform where you can go in, submit your project, and get you know guaranteed uh, writers to write for your project. On the contrary, if you're looking to build your personal brand and perhaps you want to be a thought leader in your field, then it may be a little more difficult to find that suitable writer to write based on that specific topic and to actually get you know what you're all about, your stories. And if you if you do want to implement and integrate stories into your articles, then it may be a little bit more difficult, of course, with that goes for any writer. So again, iWriter isn't perfect and it certainly isn't the be all or end all service. But if you're looking for a fast, reliable and convenient sort of platform to get content written, then try out iWriter today. So that's all for this video. If you found it valuable, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. But make sure to also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos I release on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching and looking forward to sharing the next video training with you.